Okay, we're still on day 14 of Force Fetch, but today I want to introduce thawed game or real game for Liesl. She's been doing so well with the different dummies that it's time to see if she can transfer all those skills she's learned over the last two weeks to real game because when we take her hunting ultimately she's going to be retrieving this kind of stuff for us. So I like to start with something small to medium size, easy to retrieve. So today I'm starting with this squirrel um, just because it's something I know she likes and uh, it's really easy for them to grab. So I would suggest something like a squirrel, a chucker, a pigeon, something in that size range to start with. And I've thought it out about halfway. I don't like to have it totally thought out because then it's really floppy, that can encourage them to play with it. Uh, but yet you don't want to just give them something fresh that you just pulled out of the freezer because it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be cold and uncomfortable on their gums. So thawing it out about 50% is ideal. And anytime we introduce a new species, just like when we start introducing new dummies, we start off with by going back to step one of force fetch. So I'm gonna have her take it out of my hand once she's doing that, and then we'll move to taking it off the ground. Once she's doing that, I can start sending her for longer and longer retrieves. All right, so we'll start back at square one. All right, Lisa, come here. You can see she's really interested already. So we'll go to just holding it in front of her, I'm holding her ear, and fetch. Yes, good, right here. They do usually take it quite gingerly at first. You'll find they actually retrieve better once they're picking it up themselves off the ground. Good girl! So we're making sure the hold still works and drop. Very nice. Some dogs get a little sticky, like meaning that they hold, they clamp down, they don't want to give it up. Uh, so if that happens, just use your thumb and really pry their mouth open. But she did a nice job, so we'll just gradually ask her to go further. So remember, I'll start out here. Ready, fetch. Yes, good girl. If you do have any drops, you should know from previous videos how to correct it. You're gonna do the same as you did with dummies, but it is important to never introduce real game until your dog is 100% sure of the hold concepts, drop, and retrieving in general. Because we never wanna punish them on the use of wild game. Uh, we'd rather do like ear pinch or harsh physical corrections while they're retrieving dummies. So don't do this until your dog, Liesl, has been mistake free for several days as far as uh, holding dummies. Ready? All right, that was really nice. So we're gonna make it a little further. I'm gonna set on the ground. I'm gonna step with her. Ready? Fetch. Good. I'm okay with a little bit of sniffing, especially if this is the first time your dog, Liesl, come here. You gotta give him a turn. Especially if this is the first time your dog has ever seen this game. Uh, there's no need to get on them harshly if they don't immediately pick it up. If it's just a little sniffing, that's okay. Good. Good job. Drop. And if you've done all of your foundation work, you should have a pretty smooth transition like we're seeing here with Liesl. Stay. So we'll just make it a little harder. Usually a little bit of encouragement actually works better there than yelling a harsh fetch command. Good job. Not a very graceful pickup, but in time she'll learn to pick it up in the middle. So I'm not going to correct that. Lisa. Drop. Good job. All right, now an even longer one. Stay. building up her trust in me that every time I send her there's something to get but she's building up how much I trust her and can I trust her to go this far and not make any mistakes but I think I can based on what she's shown us they're taking a little too long to pick it up go ahead and give a come whistle at this point they should know they're supposed to pick it up first and then come but I don't want her to get in the habit of always hesitating to pick up game so I decided to go ahead and hurry her along there Drop. nice all right we'll do one more and see if I have to blow the whistle again 
Come here. Sit. Stay. And that is why we wait two weeks before we show them real game, because we want to make sure that she's already got all the manners and that she knows how to handle this appropriately. So we don't have to issue any corrections here. We're just uh, showing her that we have the exact same expectations, whether it's a canvas dummy or a nice real squirrel. Drop. All right, I think the next step is to start introducing her to drags. So. I think I'm gonna put her away because you don't want the dog to see you lay the drag. We'll stop the video and then we'll start it again as soon as we're ready to start laying drags. 